Can you lay out why this woman is raising so much money in the first place, given how much money she already has? Well, all of her wealth, practically all of her wealth is tied up in the company itself, which is a private family company. Uh, so she doesn't have an awful lot of liquidity. Uh, and she has this, uh, this commitment that dates back to 2009 when her husband, Robert Louis Dreyfus, died that requires her to buy out other minority family shareholders when they, when they request her to. Uh, she had a commitment to buy them out that, that resulted in a deal for her to buy out uh, about 17% uh, that happened last January. And in order to do that, she needed to take out this just over a billion dollar loan uh, from Credit Suisse. All right. So I'm wondering whether this actually means she'll lose control of the company and there's a good chance that uh, the banks end up with a controlling interest in her company. I think at the moment that's probably an outside chance. Uh, the equity value, uh, at least on the books, uh, of Louis Dreyfus Holding, which is the entity which she holds her stake in, is about $4 billion at the moment. So a billion dollar loan collateralized with $4 billion worth of, uh, of company, she, she ought to be okay. Her real problem is that the company's profits uh, are falling or under pressure. The agricultural trading industry has been having a really tough time the last few years. So that's why she's ended up with this leverage. Uh, and that's where the pressure is coming from. And that's gonna be the drama that plays out over the next few months and years. Is there a chance that Credit Suisse would want to own a controlling interest in the world's largest agricultural uh, trading uh, company? I just wonder what that would be in terms of a conflict, in terms of something they would desire. Well, I can only speculate on what Credit Suisse thinks, but I suspect you're right. I don't imagine that Credit Suisse would particularly want to own a massive agricultural uh, commodity trading house for all sorts of different reasons. Uh, so I don't imagine that the end game of this is we're going to see Credit Suisse taking over ownership and operations of a big uh, agricultural trading house. I think more likely, if the worst were to happen, and I stress that's probably you know not the not 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 the most likely scenario. But if for whatever reason Margarita Louis Dreyfus weren't able to either repay or refinance this loan uh, by its maturity, then I think probably more likely you'd see Credit Suisse. Um, either trying to find a buyer by itself or putting pressure on her to find a buyer or an investor, yeah. uh, something like that, uh, rather than seeing Credit Suisse uh, taking over <laughs> ownership of uh, one of the largest agricultural trading companies.